going to talk about something that every photographer who pursues their craft with any sort of regularity will eventually have to face. The task of organizing and cataloging a collection of image files that can range from the hundreds to the thousands or more. Organization remains paramount in being able to effectively find those images that you consider keepers among your work. And the first line of defense to keep the chaos at bay is how you name your image files. Digital cameras give each image a name as it is written to storage that probably looks something like this. Or if you shoot raw, like this. Whatever your format, you will benefit by giving your files useful, descriptive file names that aid you in finding the shot you want when you want it. In the days of film, naming sheets of developed film so you could locate a particular frame on a particular roll with relative ease was just as important. While the medium is different, some of the same principles apply. File names for your digital images should include some basic information the year the pictures were taken, the day the pictures were taken, unique sequence number for each image in the group. In addition, you can include other information to make your files more identifiable, such as month the images were taken, location, and camera used. This is not an exhaustive list, and it is pretty much up to the photographer just what information they want to include. However, you should avoid the trap of creating file names that are excessively long. Because I use multiple cameras, I have implemented a filing convention that makes sense for me. Information I've included is the camera model, the date showing the year, month, and day followed by a three-digit sequence, and finally, the file extension. Importantly, since I have more than one camera that I use with regularity, this enables me to only deal with files from a particular camera if I'm looking for a particular shot. Similarly, I use a folder system that stores images by a folder labeled with the full year, month, and day with a subfolder for each camera model. Once you have decided on your filing system, it only remains to rename the files. I make use of Rapid Photo Downloader, which I have covered in a previous video, and I'll link to that. Rapid Photo Downloader both imports and renames files, which helps promote a smooth workflow. Another option is Digicam, which includes another robust way to rename your files in meaningful ways, using camera metadata or whatever the photographer desires. For renaming files you've already imported, Digicam is a good option, as is GP Rename, a small utility program that can be downloaded from most repositories that allow you to batch rename files. Whatever method you choose, it should be consistent and easy to implement. I'd like to hear from you in the comments about what method or naming system works for you or about any programs to facilitate file naming you might use. And remember, subscribe for future videos about open source photography. Thanks for watching. Until next time.